go, Ninja Mami. Now this is Tisa Kurt, and you're watching Pokecast. Today's video is from Need for Speed V Rally from the PlayStation One. Well, today I'm going to be doing the uh, arcade, It'll be on easy mode, and I will be. I chose the Toyota Corolla WRC. C. No particular reason. It's just picked it because why not? <laughs> so. You know, I'm, I'm trying to collect as many of the uh, Need for Speed games as I can from the PlayStation 1 era just because I can see what, you know, what great advancements they've done. And I have to say, this was not one of their best. Um, this game is only driven using the D-pad and it is extremely sensitive. Man, is it sensitive in this game. It's, um... Yeah, like that. And throughout this video, you'll see that I do this quite frequently. And it's weird, I mean, um, you really can't you be very careful about how you're driving. In the steering wheel, you have to be very careful about how much pressure you put on the steering wheel, or you flip over like that. Again. <sighs> Cannot say I'm very impressed. This game was definitely made for the arcade with uh, a wheel. It's very obvious on how badly controlled it is with the D-pad. Of course, this was just my first time going into the game and just going for it. The sad part is this is easy arcade mode. Get your timer. If you can't uh, get to the checkpoint fast enough, then you're kicked out. Yeah, the, if, for any of you who have never really played an arcade-based racer from really the old days, here's a good example. And right there, see, I, I was sitting there trying to keep control, trying to keep control, I put way too much in. The thing is, is the, um, the gear does not work very well at all. I mean, it's annoying. You can hear, you can just hear it um, just going crazy and everything you try and do doesn't work. Five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. Game over. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've had to play a game this hard since Cruising USA. At least Cruising USA actually worked well, of course. When we got it, we actually had an analog stick to play it, so it was easier to drive than this thing. Because this thing was just way too much trying to uh, emulate a steering wheel with a D-pad, and it did not work well. And the car's physics are just insane. Definitely, in my opinion, one of the worst Need for Speeds I've played ever. And I have owned the original, and even the controls in that one were perfect. Of course, it was made for a D-pad. This, this is just bad. I had no chance. Now, of course, if I'm wrong, if anybody else is really good at this, I'd love to re uh, have a, re you know, a video response of you showing me just how good you are compared to me, because, yeah, I, this is probably one of the worst ones so far. So, yeah, okay, one last try. Everything's going good. Gears are annoyingly going up. Everything's going fine. And here comes the first real turn coming up. And it's green. Okay, it's an easy turn. And someone bumps into me and really lost. Oh crap, now I'm up on the dirt. And I totally just crash. Fix it. The physics do not work in this game at all. And for a PlayStation 1 game, the car's looking nice. It's pretty sad. I'm already in last place. And completely got turned around. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this embarrassing video of a fairly badly controlled game. This is TC Cruz, and ciao and sayonara.